Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube video and today I'm going to be reviewing the Nelly Acrylic Nail Kit. So the kit came with a nail file, a dabbing dish, clear acrylic powder, nail glue, acrylic liquid, a tiny, tiny, tiny brush, a nail buffer, and a manicure stick. So the other side came with white nail tips and natural nail tips and the instructions. So since it was a nail kit, I decided to read the instructions even though I don't like reading the instructions. I just decided to read them. So the first instruction said protect working surface with a paper towel. My surface was already protected. Then it said nails should be free from polish and nail nail products and yes they were. Then it said push back nails with a manicure stick. And you know, the third question I just skipped that. So I went ahead and got the manicure stick and pushed back all my cuticles. Then the instruction said to ensure proper adhesion from the natural nail, use fine side of the buffer to lightly buff your nails. So I got the nail file and got the light side and it was pretty good. It was sturdy, it was hard and it was a good nail file. So I just filed all my nails, took off the shine and yeah. brush off the dust um, with my nail brush just to get the dust off my nails then I got the instructions back and it said brush on two coats of nail primer and prep let dry for 45 seconds this will prepare natural nails so the acrylic will last longer that's kind of a long story so I went to the drugstore and I didn't find anything in the box I don't know if somebody stole it or somebody took it out of the box because it got broken or something but when I got it it didn't have a primer and I saw that but I didn't bother because it was the last one in the store and I got it so I could do a video about it so I just used the any primer that I had in my nail box Then it said you may proceed with nail tip application or use the nail forms to build your acrylic nails. So 
so I was using nail tips because it's the only thing it came with and I brought back the instruction and it said select nail tip by matching the width of your na natural nail to the width of the nail tip that just means well size the nail tips onto your natural nails and glue them on Then I brought in the instructions, so apply a small amount of glue to the natural nail to the nail tip and blah blah. So I just put a drop of nail glue onto the nail tip and spread it and then glued it onto my nail. So it was kind of weird because it kind of burned. I don't know why, but it was kind of burning. I suspect it was because the instructions said apply the primer before you actually apply the nail tip so I was like oh yeah that's why it's burning so don't do that you gotta glue the nail tips on file them and shape them then put on the primer because it would burn if it touches like if the nail glue touches the nail primer so I glued on the other hand the other fingers and it didn't really hurt in the other fingers, only my two first fingers hurt when like burning, but the rest stopped. So just a drop of glue into the well of the nail, of the nail, I'm sorry guys, I can't talk today. <laughs> On, into the well of the nail and then stick it onto my nail bed and that's all I did so I just glued all the nail tips and I was done so yeah that was my nails then it said well I was pretty much done with tip application I didn't really need to like read anything about it so I went to acrylic so pour acrylic liquid into purple dabbing dish well we had a white dabbing dish only feel half of the dish as you always pour in more liquid blah blah and yeah and whatever I don't want to read it so I just poured the acrylic liquid into my white dabbing dish not a purple dabbing dish then, um, ugh, I don't want to read the instructions, blah, blah, you could read them if you want to, you could just pause the video and read the instructions, so yeah, it told me to get the dabbing dish, pour the liquid in, and open the acrylic powder, and get the little brush, and like, dip it into the liquid and stuff, well, I already know how to do that, so yeah, so I op managed to open the acrylic powder, and... I got the little brush and I got a paper towel 
and the instructions back and whatever you could read the instructions just pause the video and read the instructions if you want to so i just dip my brush into the acrylic liquid to get all the air bubbles out and i dipped it into the acrylic powder and whoo, it was tiny <laughs> If you've never used, if you've never done acrylic, um, don't try with this brush because it is tiny, very tiny. So when I started, I remembered something. I didn't shape my nail tips. I didn't cut my nail tips because they didn't tell me to do that. I was following the instructions. That's one of the reasons why I don't follow instructions. So I went ahead and got my tip cutter and cut my nail tips to the, my desired size and continued with the acrylic. So I brought my back, I brought back my acrylic liquid and my acrylic powder and continued using the tiny brush. It was so hard. It makes it way harder to work with the little tiny brush compared to a normal acrylic brush. So I couldn't go any further with that brush. I just threw it away and got my normal acrylic brush that I normally use and I dipped it into the acrylic liquid into the powder and that felt way better so this acrylic was really good I like it but it's kind of on the runny side but well, runny acrylic is better than acrylic that sets faster because most of these like kits that you buy from like drugstores or dollar stores tend to dry faster than normal like acrylic powders that you could that are kind of expensive. So I liked it. It was good. Like working with it wasn't that hard. It was just normal. It acted like a normal acrylic powder. And yeah, I do recommend it if you want, if you just started nails and you want to practice like with this nail kit it's really good I liked it
love the way their acrylic gets kind of like slimy or I don't know what I could say but it kind of like got sticky so I added a bit more acrylic so it could work better and it was making way better beads than how it was when it was like sticky and stuff so if that happens all you should do is just add a bit more acrylic into the a bit more acrylic liquid into the acrylic liquid that you already have it actually makes it work better compared to the way it makes the beads when it's sticky So I was done and um, the nails dried up and I got the instructions. Uh, I got tired of reading the instructions so from here I just started doing stuff myself. But if you like the instructions, there's a lot of instructions that you could use and all that. So I just got my nail file and using the course that I shaped my nails. I found and shaped my nails to my desired shape and yeah the nail file was pretty good i liked it just like before it wasn't flimsy it was pretty hard it was sturdy and i liked it
so I was done and I went ahead and opened my nail buffer and buffed on my nails the buffer was good too it was good it was not like old or like splashed or something it was good so I went ahead and buffed on my nails and yeah Then I clean, got my little brush and cleaned my nails with alcohol just to get all the chemicals and everything off my nails before I paint them with the nail polish. So today I was just using the nail, normal nail polish. I don't know if it's Isu or something and this one, I don't really don't know the names but I'm sure I'm going to check out the names and I'm going to put them in the description box below. So this one was kind of like an orangish, yeah it was an orange and I just painted my nails with it. Just painted on my nails, I did two coats of nail polish but in the video I only showed one. So I got the little brush. You're gonna see I kind of got the little brush and use it as a cleanup brush because so uh, that's the only thing it did right. It didn't do the curls right. Well, I could have tried it for something else, but I used it as a cleanup brush and it worked. See right here, I just <laughs> I just got it and used it as a cleanup brush. Then I got the gold color and I just painted one coat of that one because it was pretty pigmented. And I liked it so I just painted um one coat because I liked the way it was looking with the first coat only. So yeah, those are the nails. I was done. And I hope you liked the video, guys. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to join the crew. Because we're going to be popping and we're going to be lit. And thanks for watching. <laughs>